Hello and welcome to another Knife on the Edge. So as you can see, clearly in front of you, we're looking at another Best Tech Knives. Uh, again, I'm just showing you the pouch here, just to show you get a little bit of extra in the, in the box. We've got the cleaning cloth, a little bit of reading material, and you know what not to do with that little guy. Right, let's get this open in front of you and speak a bit about him. Oh, by the way, I did want to mention that um, he came, that pouch came in this box, a nice sort of hard box. So I don't know if this is the new box that Best Tech, it's uh, turned it that way, it might be a little bit uh, better. This is the new boxes that they're starting to use, but um, quite, a nice, quite a nice box. Maybe this is for the more premium versions, because I did get a budget knife the other day that came in the regular little um, box. Simply the best. Apologies to Tina Turner. <laughs> and uh, by the way, there's the name of this knife, the Bestec Samari. Samari? Who knows? Play on Samurai? I don't know. Samari. Right, moving on. Uh, as you can see also, I'm just going to lift the knife up there, the little maker's mark or designer's mark, should we say, sitting over there. So this is another combo design knife, K-O-M-B-O-U. And uh, he's the designer out of Poland, Gregor Grabarski. And if he ever gets to see my videos, I'm sure he's going to cringe at that. Anyway, uh, let's go. In terms of um, <laughs> materials on the knife, uh, we've got M390 blade, titanium handle, clip also titanium, and ball bearing pivot. Dimensions, we've got a blade length of 97 millimeters, that's 3.9 inches. Blade thickness. 3.8 mils, 0.15 inches. Overall length of this guy is 222 mils, so quite a long slender knife. Handle thickness, 12.8 millimeters. And let's quickly check the weight. It does feel quite uh, light on that titanium, on those titanium frame. Move that into the center there and then pop that on the scale. And um, he's um, Incredibly light. It weighs nothing at all. So, <laughs> let's switch that on. The uh, scale tends to work better when it's on. There we go. Grams. What do we got here? Uh, 108 grams. And do the conversion there. 3.7 ounces. So quite a nice light knife. Flick him open again so you can get a good look at that design. So Blade HQ described this blade shape as an exaggerated tenter. Extremely exaggerated, I'd say. Well, you can kind of see the corner just over there. So, you know, the down sweep and then that long up sweep to the tip of the blade there. I probably would have gone more for a modified clip point. Maybe even that's a stretch, but you know, you've got the little up sweep there and then that coming down. That would be the belly of the knife, except that you've got the little corner there. Anyway, either way, neither here nor there. Uh, finish on the blade, we've got this lovely satin finish, and you can see those grind lines really neatly done on that. When the light catches it, you get that, uh, that little bit of rainbow effect. Edge on the knife, it came out the box really sharp. A nice, evenly done, uniform edge matching on both sides as well not a mirror edge uh, you can you know if you look really close you'll see a little bit of the grind lines on there but still for a factory edge uh, production knife uh, very very neat nice long swedge running along the back of the blade over there uh, quite a deep grind as i said and that's a flat grind by the way nice and see this little up sweep on the blade there and that's uh, a nice little landing pad for your thumb and I'll, I'll speak a little bit about that when I get the, the knife in hand. Sharpening choil in the front, just on the edge there. Two edges I guess uh, that you need to sharpen on this, you got the one going that way and then the one running up there. Uh, deploy is using the flipper tab, it's the only way to deploy the knife so you've got no other little options. If you want it as a fidget toy it's that or nothing. Uh, but it does fly out on those um, ceramic bearings and a nice sound as well. Smacks out there. Detent decent as well also. Sucks the blade in. Softish sound but uh, a secure detent. Right, size of the knife. So in my medium-sized hands, um, I wear a large glove. I've mentioned before, I can comfortably get four fingers around there. Plenty of room to spare. So if you do have beefier hands, this is not going to be an issue for you. 
the edges of the, the, the knife, we've got um, this nice um, beveled edge on the knife. I think I've been called a chamfering in, in a lot of my other videos, but bevel, beveled edge, much better description of that all the way around. And it does, so it does sort of taper off to the edge. Here we've got a little step down. So in hand, comfortable, no uh, hot spots, no hot spot from the uh, sort of softened uh, pocket clip either. And then on that pocket clip, we've got uh, right hand only tip up. You can see that that pocket clip, no little screws or anything on there, so that's attached through that side, running right through, holding on, uh, holding the frame uh, together and keeping the pocket clip on. Nice, neatly done. Uh, hardware on it, all Torx, so no proprietary stuff here, so if you do want to take the knife apart, uh, no issues on that. Uh, we very seldom see proprietary anymore, really, I suppose on, on some customs and maybe on Medford knives, uh, we still see that. Interesting as well, I noticed the little Bestec logo on the pivot is different. Now, I don't know if they've been doing this for a while, but on the Bestecs I've got, they've still got the, the B on there. And in fact, I've got a, a more entry-level budget Bestec recently in, in terms of materials. Also just came in the little cardboard box. But that's still got the B on it. So I don't know if they're busy transitioning to this logo, if this is going to be something that they use on the more premium uh, blades. But as you can see, a little different B design on that pivot. Alright, let's get him open again and lay it down there. Overall nice, interesting, a little bit of an angled but very sleek and slender design to the knife. Uh, I, I might have alluded to different color variations just now uh, and, and, and there are. So you get, uh, this particular version has got that uh, metallic green but you get one in bronze, uh, you know those areas in bronze and then you get one in a complete black stone wash with a black stone wash blade and then you get uh, one that's completely grey too. Well, interesting detail on it, if you look at that metallic area, it's not completely smooth, it looks like it's been carried in a pocket for a while, so you've got these little marks all over it, but that's uh, weathering that they've done, not me. Uh, and uh, you know, the advantage of that is if this knife is in your pocket and you do get one or two little scratches on it, it's not going to show, it's just going to blend into the design of the knife. So if you're a pedantic person like I am and you scratch your new knife and get a bit upset, this is not going to happen, you're not even going to notice it. The black stone washed all around there and uh, if you look really closely, I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the camera, those beveled edges and that edge running over there, it's got little, the faintest little lines on it. So a lot of interest on the knife when you look really closely at it. And if I mentioned as well, you've got that shaped backspacer as well, also in titanium. So I think now I have mentioned everything there is to say about the knife except for the fact that this one once again was provided to me by Blades and Triggers here in South Africa. Uh, appreciate their support. Their website BNT Online. Go check it out. A nice range of knives on that and, and specifically thanks to Bowen and his team at the Eastgate branch who, um, who always sort me out and, and great helpful bunch of guys. Uh, in terms of price, uh, not a cheap knife but we do have premium materials on the knife uh, so here in South Africa, that's 4,125 Rand, and I've seen this guy on Blade HQ for $248. Uh, something I didn't uh, do that I uh, am almost did forget to do is just a size comparison. So I'm going to use the, uh, the Manix 2 Spyderco, give you a sense there. So it is a longer knife than the Manix 2, but then it is, uh, it's not as wide as the Manix 2. Uh, in terms of weight, yeah, the Manix 2 is uh, heavier. Okay, so that give you a little sense of that. And then the other one I got here is the Benchmade Barrage, that I think a lot of people do know as well. So let's put him on there too, and give you a sense of, of that. Uh, a little bit of a size perspective. There you go, and I think that's all I got for you today. I think I've covered everything. Guys, again, thanks so much for popping in. Really do appreciate it. Um, if you did enjoy the review, please do give me a like. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe as well and um, join the channel. Uh, and once again, thank you and God bless.